Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we will be discussing about bag of words and the NLTK library that is basically used. We have a function which is called as count vectorizer. We'll be able to perform that. Uh, and again, you can refer that in my next video in this specific playlist. The link will be given in the description. Now, how does bag of word actually work? As I told you guys, uh, if we have some kind of text data, okay, and suppose I'm solving a sentiment analysis problem statement. In that particular text data, I can just directly give it to my model. You know, we need to convert that into some numerical format. We basically call it as vectors in case of NLP, natural language processing. Now, suppose I have some examples over here. In sentence one, sentence two, sentence three, I have three positive statement and remember the output is one, 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 suppose. So the first sentence is he's a good boy. Uh, sentence two is she's a good girl. Sentence three is boy and girl are good, okay? And always remember during text pre-processing, we have to do some of the things like, first of all, we need to uh, lower the sentences because understand, suppose over here, capital H E is there. Okay. And suppose somewhere in small H E may be there. Right. And if I don't lower the sentence, both that particular word will be uh, denoted in a separate way. So it is always good that you lower the sentences. But yes, there are some scenarios like suppose uh, there is country's name, you know, uh, like capital I N uh, India or USA capital U S and small U S. Right? It it will not match. So at that particular case, you need you can actually consider that word in a separate list, and later on you can just keep that particular words and remaining all words you can actually lower in the sentences. You can do that in normal in processing codes. You know. So over here, first step is basically lowering the sentences. Then what I can do is that I can also apply stemming and limitization. Over here, I've just taken simple words. Stemming and limitization is not required in this particular case, but you can do it. Because in usual scenario, you'll be having so many sentences. Here, I've just taken an example of three sentences. Then we can also apply stop keywords. Now, what is exactly stop keywords? Understand over here in this text data, guys, we have so many words like is, a, uh, he, she, are, and, Right? These all are not important data because I'll tell you why. Suppose I'm solving sentiment analysis <clears throat> and this kind of data will be present a lot. But these are not the major data. The major data is basically this good word, boy, you know, uh, boy, girl, good. So these all kinds of data are pretty much important. Remaining words like he, she, is, a, right? It is not that particularly important. Okay. So after applying stop words you know my sentence you know all these particular words will get removed like is a uh, because uh, and again if you if you don't know how to do it just see my next video uh, in this specific playlist the link will be given in the description from there you will be able to see how we can implement with the help of python also so after i apply stop words to this sentence and my sentence one will become good boy so here you see he is a is gone right sentence two she is a is gone so we are having good girl so over here in sentence three, boy and girl are good. Over here, and and are will go. So I just have three words, boy, girl, good. Okay. So after applying stop words, we will be having this kind. Now, but our main aim is that how do we derive vectors by using bag of words, right? And that we are going to show you now. Now I have these three sentences. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a histogram. Histogram from these three sentences. What does histogram basically mean? I will go and see for each and every word and I'll just try to find out what is the frequency? What is the total count that it is present? Suppose if I take an example of good, good is present how many times? One, two, three. In all the sentences it is present. So I'll increase that particular count to three. Okay. So what I'm doing? Sentences one, I'm taking good. Three. Okay. Uh, boy, how many times it is present? See, I'm just going sentence by sentence. How many words are there? I'll just try to find out the frequency. So boy is basically present two times. You can see one and two in sentence one and sentence two. So I have incremented the count to two. Then you can see again, good is there. Girl is the new word. So I'll write girl. I'll try to find out what is the count. How many times girl is present? One and two again. And the sentence three is basically having the same word. So I'll keep it like that only. So this three words have got derived from this and we have actually calculated the frequency. Now remember when we are calculating the frequency, they may be not in order, but we always have to sort from uh, in the descending order. Okay. So we need to sort this. Now, once we sort this, what we can do is that this all good boy and girl. Now we are basically going to apply bag of words. So now this step is basically called as bag of words where we are converting this representation into vectors. <clears throat> now this good boy and girl, I'm going to write this as my features F1, F2 and F3. So here you have good boy and girl. Now I'll just consider my sentence one. My sentence one is good boy, right? Now consider over here, good and boy is actually present. If I take an example and again, remember 
in bag of words there are something like binary bag of words and there is normal bag of words these two example are there first we'll discuss about binary bag of words then we'll discuss about bag of words now in binary bag of words what happens is that suppose in sentence one good is present i'm just going to say it as one if it is not present suppose over here okay over here boy is also present we'll make it as one okay right so if the word is present i'm going to put it as one if the word is not present i'm going to put it as zero so in the sentence one you can see good is present so i'll just go and look on the feature here good is there i'm going to make it as one boy is there i'm going to make it as one girl is not there i'm going to make it as zero so this is how my representation is there now understand this 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 whole sentence is represented by one one zero and in binary bag of words we either have one or zero okay now in sentence two in sentence two i have good and girl right so good is over here girl is over here now i have one zero one right and similarly for sentence three i have one 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 now understand guys this is vectors this is vectors now the most important thing is that what is the second bag of words now suppose imagine that i have good boy one more word is there suppose boy okay now you can see that boy is getting repeated two times so when it is getting repeated two times i can actually increment the count and make it to two okay so this is how you can actually use bag of words and binary bag of words but remember this is my features this is my f1 f2 f3 right how can i apply machine learning models i'll also have an output column so this f1 f2 f3 are my dependent feature with this vectors this will become my sorry this is this f1 f2 f3 is my independent features and this output feature will become my dependent feature so I, in my machine learning model i'll be training with f1 f2 f3 as my independent feature and my output feature which will be there in this particular sentence in my data set it will be there right this is just my input and i'll also be having an output column so this is how my feature got converted into some numerical representation and now i can give this to my machine learning model and you know and i can train my machine learning model and this is how bag of words actually work but what is the disadvantage of bag of words because we have better techniques we have tfidf we have word to vec what is the disadvantage of bag of words now in this scenario what you saw guys okay i'm just going to convert back into the previous mechanism now here what you have seen is that my values are either one and zeros right but one important thing to note over here i have this good value as one boy value as one right both are having the equal representation right the semantic of this particular words are almost same we are not able to derive which word is much more important in sentiment analysis the major thing is that we should know that which word is more important like in this particular case good should be important suppose i take an example uh, he is intelligent okay over here intelligent is a major word we need to try to give more value to that intelligent word to actually derive a sentiment analysis right so that particular case here you can say either we are getting ones and zeros these two words has the same representation right one one i'm just having this one one there's no much more meaning out of it right they are given the equal weightage right so this is the major disadvantage of bag of words and in order to solve this we basically have something called as tfidf which is also called as term frequency and inverse document frequency so we will try to compute how we can actually find out term frequency and inverse document frequency by using the same example and there you will be able to understand how we can actually do it and uh, how better it is with when compared to bag of words but just understand guys tfidf uh, when you are actually doing just sentiment analysis you can go ahead with bag of words and try to compute it but if you have a huge data set please don't go with bag of words word to vec is the best way to actually solve with respect to that so yes this was all about this particular video i hope you like it please do subscribe to the channel if uh, you have not already subscribed in my next video i'll be coming up with tfidf thank you one and all bye bye